All right. Now, the first uh, types of equilibrium problems we've actually already done, uh, but we're going to really delve into it pretty deeply here. Uh, so this first example right here, uh, we have a mass that's hanging from a knot right there, and there's two ropes attached to the ceiling at different angles, theta and phi. So I'm not even going to do this problem. It's pretty simple. I'm just going to kind of outline the process here. Um, you could anal analyze this about uh, any axis that you want, uh, but in this situation, there are no torques about this not axis. So um, we actually, we could analyze this. I mean, you can analyze it about this axis or this axis or many other axes, but uh, if we analyze it about this, really there's no torques acting at all on this not. So we can actually solve this with simply two equations. Uh, and again, it will always be the same three equations. Um, and we this time we only need two of them. There's no torques about the not axis. So all we're gonna have to do is say the net force in the x direction equals zero and the net force in the y direction equals zero. Again, free body diagram is critical. Uh, we've got these two uh, tensions right here, T1 and T2. They will not be equal if these angles are not equal. We divide each of the tensions up into components. This is T2, so that'll be T2 sine theta, if that's theta. This will be T2 cosine theta, if that's theta. On this side, if that's angle phi, this will be T1 cosine phi, T1 uh, sine phi. And the downward force on the knot mg. Then write the equations net force x equals zero. And we notice that this and this force have to cancel out. Otherwise, this thing would be accelerating horizontally. So there is your equation in the x direction. And then all you need is an equation in the y direction. Notice that the force is acting on this knot. Again, I've chosen the knot as the, the thing I'm going to analyze what the force is on. We've got uh, the vertical component of T1. We've got the vertical component of T2. And we got mg. Again, that tension in this rope is only mg because it's not accelerating. The tension in a rope holding up a mass m is not necessarily mg. It'll be more than mg if it's accelerating up, less than mg if it's accelerating down. If it's moving at constant velocity, or i.e. at rest is one perfect example of that, then that is the only situation where the tension would be mg. Those all add up again to zero. You solve those two simultaneous equations. There's only two unknowns, t1 and t2, and you're good to go.